So today I'm on the run because I'm headed to a workshop venue tomorrow to teach, but I got a new craft mat sheet for my work table in the garage. And I had so many people over the last several weeks ask me about the craft mat, where to get it. And then once they got it, they didn't really know how to put it down on their work surface. So today I've got a video for you of me changing my craft mat on my four by six foot work table so that you can see how I do it. So today I am replacing my non-stick craft mat tabletop surface that covers my entire four by six foot work table. So the first thing that I had to do was remove everything off the table, which is a giant pile of stuff in and of itself. You would think that I would have this workspace clear to work on, but somehow it's also got a pile of stuff on. But maybe this is an opportunity to clean it. Um, so uh, the reason why I'm replacing it, I think you can see this, is I've got some wear and tear, and it's mostly concentrated right in the area where I film. And I don't want this uh, distracting background in the videos. It still works just fine. And I can scrub it and scrape uh, the paint off of it. You can see that it's still working just fine for that. I mean, I'm using my thumbnail. Usually I use a plastic card uh, to just scrape this stuff off. Um, it still works just fine. But the, the marks um, in this right in this video space, um, I'm finding distracting. And so I want to replace it. You can cut out a patch and replace a patch. Um, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to be seamless and perfect. So I opted to replace the whole thing. And I'm making the video because I've had a few people ask me, they've ordered the craft mat and they've said, well, how do I adhere this to my surface? It's sliding around and I, I don't know how to get it to stay down. So, um, First, I want to show you that this surface is, uh, this is a work table, like a workbench work table in my garage. So I'm going to, um, Pull the craft mat up and I'll show you what's underneath. What What's underneath is um, linoleum squares, uh, flooring. And I had used this in the past, but you can't get the acrylic paint off of it. You see this? And this is clean because I got the craft mat shortly after I did this surface. So... So the craft mat is a is a um it's kind of um thin and so it you need to adhere it so it doesn't slide around so when when i get rid of this um you can see the, the linoleum surface but everything stuck to this and nothing scraped off as easily as the craft mat so this is what is on top of my table so the new craft mat um i haven't even opened the tube yet let me go get that so the new craft mat is shipped in a tube um, and it came to me, the width, uh, is wider than my table. I think, um, it may not be, let's see what's in the tube. Um, it ships in the tube and is sold by the foot. So, um, I, I love the fact that I can buy it by the foot and get it to go the full length of the table, uh, without having to piece it together. So, um, there we go. Okay. So it's got a bit of packaging in the end and as i recall it is um the same width as my table so here it comes out of the tube packed with some paper and bubble wrap on both ends to protect it i mean it's really well packed um so you want the edges you know not to get crumpled so the packaging and the shipping is important um it's Let's see, it is exactly the width of the table with a little bit of overhang. It's, my table is four feet, I think, and this is a little bit of overhang. So anyway, what I'm sticking it down with though, this is what everyone wants to know. This is what the questions that I get. This is double stick tape. So I'm just gonna put double stick tape around the edge of my work surface. And I'm also, um, this time I'm gonna put, because I'm going on such a long expanse, this time I'm gonna put some across in some central locations because this is such a big area to just have it adhered around the edges. So one thing I forgot to mention in the demo is that with regards to the double stick tape, if you do not want to put double stick tape directly on your work surface, say your table is not as much of a workbench as mine is and you don't want to adhere tape to it, 
you could put the double stick tape on the underside of the table and make sure to buy enough craft mat so that it will roll around to the underneath and double stick tape it that way. Now, if you need links for the tape or the craft mat, which is sold by the foot, those links are gonna be in the description box below the video. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just attach the craft mat to the surface. And I don't think there's a right or wrong side to this. It really looks the same on both sides. Um, and I've already got the double stick tape from the last application, which is still pretty darn sticky. And I'm going to, like I said, put a few strips across in the center. And this is the same way that you would do it around the edges. I'm just gonna cut it, I'm gonna press it down, and then I'm just gonna pick up the end of it and peel, peel the backing to reveal the double stick. And this stuff is so sticky that you wanna make sure that when you're lining the craft mat up that you don't, uh, that you get it right where you want it before you press it into the double stick tape. And I've got a little bit of it that's going to hang over and I'm just gonna mount it to the tabletop and then I'm gonna cut off the overhang. Rather than trying to cut it first to fit exactly the table, I'm just going to let it overhang on the opposite side where I work. So I'm gonna line it up perfectly along the front of where I work and then I'm going to trim it on the opposite side. So it's a little tricky with the video lighting. So it does kind of, it does, because it's not stick, the craft mat, it will peel off of the, the tape and sort of line it up with the end of the table and the, and the front edge. I'm sure that my table is not perfectly square. So I may want to hang it over a little bit more uh, so that I can cut it to fit. So, because the table was built for me, so it's probably not perfectly straight. Okay, so that worked out well. Now, I'm gonna put another cross piece about two feet from the first one. And then I'm just gonna lay the craft mat into the tape and press it into the adhesive. Now, this doesn't have to be um, stuck down like uh, with tons and tons of tape because you're gonna be working on it and it, you're gonna have things on it and it's not gonna slide. I mean, I don't need excessive amounts of tape and I'm actually making use of the previous layer of tape around the, around the perimeter and I'm just putting the new cross pieces and the tape around the perimeter from the last craft mat is still pretty sticky. So I'm gonna press it into all of that And there you have it. So this surface just needs to be put down with double stick tape around the perimeter. And if you're big of a table like me, a couple of cross pieces. And like I said, I'm making use of the double-sided tape from the previous craft mat. Because this is non-stick, it easily peeled up from the tape. And it didn't really take tons of tape to keep it from shifting around on the desk. So I hope that you find this helpful in knowing that it's sold by the foot and knowing that you can spread it out on a big table. You don't need to have linoleum underneath like I do. If you have plywood underneath, this double-stick tape is still going to stick to it. If you have, if you're using an old, a plastic table or a card table, the double stick tape is going to adhere to most surfaces and, um, and adhere your craft mat. And it's just a beautiful surface. And anyway, that's how you do it. So for those of you who've asked, and I've promised to do a little demo, I finally cleaned off my desk. And one more thing I want to share. I said that I was going to cut the overhang with the scissors, but I just cut the overhang with this blade and it is a lot easier to run the blade right along uh, tightly to the edge of the desk and cut the craft mat versus trying to get the scissors in there because you're always going to have the width of the scissors that, that uh, overhangs. So a very brand new blade right up next to the edge of the table and cut the craft mat with the blade against the edge of the table is giving me a perfect fit along the edges. 
So thank you for being here. I hope that this video answered some questions with regards to how to put the craft mat down. Um, another on your work surface and where to get it by the foot if you have a large work surface. Um, the, 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 the link for that is below. And then also I wanted to let you know that, um, what did I want to let you know? Um, oh yes. <laughs> I want to remind you that as we found out while I was working in the video, my double stick tape from the first craft mat was still really sticky because it held the mat in place. But because the mat is non-stick, nothing from the mat came off onto the tape to dull it. So if you are simply replacing a mat that you had before, don't take your original tape off. I was able to secure it around the perimeter with the original tape. Tape. And then I just added the cross sections of the double sided tape because I found it moved around a little bit in the middle. But that's because mine is six feet long by four feet wide. You might not need the cross sections if you are just doing like a 24 by 36. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, I find that the craft mat surface is amazing because everything wipes off of it, scrapes off of it, washes off of it. And I need that for my video backdrops to be clean and clear of clutter. But I also find that when I'm working, it is much nicer to work on a surface that is devoid of distraction. So anyway, um, thanks again for being here. If you are uh, new, I appreciate the support. Consider subscribing. I like to think that I have a lot of good content headed your way and I'll see you next week.